RealFlow 2012 allows you to generate splash particles using different criteria like curvature, speed and vorticity. The parameter default threshold used to be used in RealFlow 5 as the only criteria, but in RealFlow 2012 by default the detail threshold criteria is used combined with the curvature threshold criteria. You can recover the exact functionality you got in RealFlow 5 by just setting all of these criteria to zero. The detailed threshold parameter defines the areas where the splash particles will be generated. A low value for the parameter detail threshold indicates that only areas where a high need for detail will be used to generate splash particles. A higher value indicates that only areas where a low need for detail will be used. The new parameters curvature threshold, speed threshold and vorticity threshold will be used in combination with the detail threshold parameter if it's activated. The parameter curvature threshold defines the minimum surface curvature for the generation of splash particles. Only curvature values larger than the curvature threshold are considered. The parameter th speed threshold defines the minimum fluid velocity for the generation of splash particles. Only a fluid velocity value larger than the speed threshold is considered. And of course, the vorticity threshold defines the vorticity threshold defines the minimum fluid vorticity for the generation of splash particles. And again, only a value larger than the vorticity threshold will be considered. The detail threshold criteria can be deactivated using the use detail threshold parameter. In this case, the other new criteria will be used if their values are larger than zero.
The wet emitter will create particles in wet zones. Wet zones are those where the grid fluid domain particles are touching the objects attached to the wet fluid. The wet emitter is based on a splash emitter and can be simulated with the grid fluid domain cached. A wet emitter must be linked to the grid fluid domain so it can emit. As the wet emitter is based on a splash emitter, you can connect it to any demon, gravity, wind, K volume, etc. In order to generate wet particles, you need to attach the objects which are going to be wet. The wet emitter parameters are just like splash emitter parameters. Once you define the object or objects to wet, the wet particles will be created when simulating. The emission rate and the emitter resolution control the number of particles. The object resolution and object offset parameters can be changed to adjust the wet particles to the object's surface.